the four position bounty, yeah. This is going to be interesting. Uh, there's a lot of options here for both squads, but before we do get underway, we will see some rotations, maybe some warding coming up from both squads, some aggressive play getting to the jungle, etc. But first game, uh, go ahead and toggle your mic for me again, just to make sure that that thing's uh, on in Dota TV. Sometimes it doesn't always toggle for whatever reason. I don't know why. I'm just someone's messaging me about it. I'm sure it's okay though. Regardless, we are going to jump into the game. My insanity versus secret coming in. And uh, this is a two-game series. Obviously, Secret, the wide favorites. For my insanity, they're a team that has... Uh, they got to put a lot of work in. Lazard is going to get early boots of speed first. Bounty Hunter, he has the Observer Ward. That's Lazard playing the BH. He's going to the offlane currently. Just scouting. We're going to see Mitch playing your Marana as well. In the mid lane, currently, Hatawa is going to be on your Ogre Magi. We'll have Grazine on your Ember Spirit and Durant it all out. It's going to be Milan playing your Razor in the safe lane. With Boots of Speed and Award as well. To battle. Then for Team Secret in the jungle, it's going to be Puppy playing the Enigma in the mid lane. It's going to be Kuroki being supported by Big Daddy No Tail on the IO. In the safe lane, it looks like we're going to have S4 on the Jukiro, and offlane is going to be Simba on the Silver Sun. Yeah, this, is, uh, this is kind of what I expected for now. We'll see how things do end up. I imagine Puppy will just head to the jungle. They didn't ward it up, so I'm not really looking to contest them that much. They can always rotate the heroes into the jungle because this is an aggro tri lane that they're putting up with a four position bounty hunter who can easily transition into the jungle and gank this Enigma. So Enigma actually has to be kind of careful in this regard. Like, Lazar can just run in and throws up the ward as well, which is going to be problematic at best. So, Hatawa walking up to the high ground as well. Clarity and some tangos, nothing else other than that. The Eidolons are going to scout out Hatawa. They see him blocking this camp, or trying to anyways. Looks like he did. Lazard does not block the, med uh, the medium camp, rather. Uh, but they will be able to gank Enigma if he comes into this jungle here. I mean, like, Bounty is just going to run out of uh, onto Puppy, and it's going to be kind of an issue, so. And it looks like they are going to just park themselves inside of Enigma's jungle, so... He's not going to be having a fun early game. It looks like he's just going to deny the creeps in the top lane. Has denied two set of creeps. Isn't actually using his hero currently to jungle. Looks like he's just going to send himself back to base. And maybe making a rotation to the enemy jungle. Possibly. I think that's probably the best decision at this point. Maybe he'll deny once more before he gets there. Um, he tried to stack up the medium camp. Blizzard blocked it. So right now, I think this Mind City Bounder Honey Pick is just really working to just shut down Puppy as best as possible. The unfortunate thing is that they're not really dealing with Kuroki in any regard, and they probably won't for a period of time. They might be able to gank mid at some point, but I feel like Kuroki might just get free farm. He has a poor man shield, which, I mean, that's going to give him some extra bonus damage, mm -hmm. and he'll probably get a bottle. Lazard's going to walk up from the high ground here. He is only level 1, so no Janata, no Shrukid Toss, but let's we'll see if they can deal with Kuroki here. Yeah, and this Ember Spirit really going to have a struggle in this mid lane against the, both the Io and Naga Siren. Yep, it does look like C Puppy is going to rotate into the, into the enemy jungle. He does actually scout out the Observer Ward, so going to also be able to deny that. And... and some gold going his way. Oh. Milan static link at a symbol. He does Timber Chain away, but he's actually taking a lot of damage here. The right clicks Plasma Field. Is he going to be first blood from Milan? The salve not going to be enough. Milan gets the kill. Simba getting caught out. Did not expect that. Nice play coming out from Milan, but some rough positioning yeah. for Simba there. It's an it's a really rough matchup for Timbersaw. It's probably one of the worst 1v1 lanes for Timbersaw. As you really have to get close to do any damage or harassment, but I mean, Razor. Razor loves it when you. We gave you a hate stop. And they actually get a kill in the top lane as well with the Marana and Ogre. So MYI doing a really good job. I really like the way that they've set up their lanes, getting favorable matchups in pretty much all the lanes except for the mid lane. They're doing a really good job of not allowing Puppy to just free farm on this Enigma, and that is extremely important. Now, Hazawa is chasing down S4 currently. Double Ring of Protection coming out from the Jakiro. Uh, Sec Phone, I think, is the. So what is Hazawa is saying? So some issues clearly. 
from your Ogre Magi. But yeah, so far, if you look at it here, they actually got a kill mid on Grazine. He got killed by Io. Uh, I think they just probably ensnared him, riptided him, and then threw him some spirits and right-click on him. And actually, he doesn't even have spirits yet, so just threw some right-click from the Io, was able to get the kill. So, one kill for Secret, two kills for MYI. Uh, one in the top lane for MYI, and then one in the bottom lane coming out from Lon. So, just an nice. interesting start, but... Yeah, Simba is actually going to have a pretty rough time in this offlane. Like I said, the Razor matchup is extremely difficult for Timbersaw because in order to do any damage, you have to get into close range. But at that point, you're going to get static linked. And when you run away, he's just going to cast Plasma Field and constantly right click you down. So it's going to be quite difficult. I think Tim Timbersaw can get experience, but he's not going to get any farm in this offlane. We'll see how it goes uh, for now. He will have two points of temper chain, so he will have the escape mechanism when push comes to shove, but I mean, no reactive armor is kind of tough. I'm actually kind of concerned about S4 in the top lane as well for Secret. He's already died once. Obviously, Fire Blast coming into effect. The arrow follow-up was there from Mitch, and it doesn't seem like the easiest combo, but they've made it work already. Um, Ignite also helps out to a certain extent. And looks like they are ready to go. We're going to jump back into the game. Puppy has rotated back to his own jungle. He looks like he's going to take some uh, camps as well. He's got his Midnight Pulse up. He's got his Eidolon still level 1. So uh, it's going to take a bit more time. But actually, I think they stacked that up with uh, Big Daddy with No Tail in the jungle. And they're looking to get him some farming. Lazard is looking for something. I don't know. He's got normal Venom here. Maybe looking to head to the jungle or find a Courier. The Courier is up, though. So I don't see him killing the courier since it's flying now, but he's gonna try to go for it. Maybe looks like he's gonna get away scot free. Actually, yep. And where is this bounty hunter? Looks like he's scouted out puppy again and is able to be. I mean, this is just so annoying for puppy. He's getting only half experience while this bounty hunter. S4 does get the kill top lane. Mitch, they, they arrowed the Chikiro, but it was actually just a little bit too late as, of course, they were diving the tower, and Ogre was taking too much damage coming out from Liquid Fire, what have you, so... Uh, an exchange coming out, although they killed the Chikiro, not too bad coming out for S4, getting a return kill in the process, so... I would say that's quite good for S4, as he does... He does end up killing the Ogre before falling, so he's gonna mm -hmm. get experience for that kill. So he'll be up in farming essentially. He's got what? Nine last hits? Not too bad. Mitch is 20 though. This is something we saw the other day where he was put into an opposing offlane or a solo situation versus a solo. And, I mean, he'll get farmed. He's got 20 last hits right now. He doesn't seem uh, too phased by the damage. However, S4 is running at Mitch right now. There is a leap available. Mitch is getting low, but he will have to uh, back away actually. Lazard and Hatawa going into the jungle again. Puppy is like, please, can you stop? I'm just trying to get my soul ring right now. He's only at 350 gold, uh, no boots, so he is luckily going to stack up, or rather just take this camp here, the hard camp, which is not too bad, Dark Trust Limiter, but S4 is going to get ganked, here comes the Tawa, and uh, Lazard is here as well, Dual Breath's going to fly, it's going to be on the Mitch and Lazard, there's the Storm, storm going in, the Shrew can toss, meanwhile mid lane, Kroki to get the kill on Grazine, so another one for one exchange across the map, and Kroki is at 36, last hits, plus a kill and assist, mm -hmm. wow. And good information now for Puppy. He knows that both of the supports are in the top lane, so he's able to farm up this jungle without really any pressure. And Secret are doing a really good job in this early game, not being completely pressured by this Bounty Hunter and Ogre support duo who are just constantly roaming looking for kills. They have given up a couple kills, but if we look at the golden experience, pretty even. Even in favor of Secret a bit. Puppy's and... going to get Janata strikes. The arrow's going to sail through. Fire Blast is going to actually hit. There's the song coming in, but the Flame Guard is going to do too much damage. And Puppy is going to die. Kroki cannot fight four heroes on his own, even with Ayo coming in. There's absolutely no way. I'll have to back up. So Puppy gets caught out and dies. Yeah, and in this game, MYI are actually... They're going to need a significant early game advantage to, to take this late because... 
They are against the Naga Siren as well as the Enigma, so... Is Grazine dead? They're just gonna ensnare him. They've already Riptided, I believe. The Spirits are gonna go through. There's the dust that Big Daddy does have. But they're gonna come in. Crooked doesn't have his song. They were just here a second ago. The ensnare is actually rather the overcharge just work. Double kill for Crokey. The mirror images. is... Tom was like, please, you've gotta be kidding me. He's going on the illusions. No Tail is going to work. The Spirits coming in, and he might die, but they do get the Fire Blast off, but a triple kill coming in from Crokey. He is at 23 k and the Jin Honest Strike will get the kill and bring him back down to 2k. But what a turn of events for Secret. A triple kill for Onaga Siren is the last thing you want to give up to this team if you're MYI. And I mean, that's just why you don't give this team Wisp. And they played that extremely well. Kuroki using the mirror images to dodge two right clicks and make sure that he doesn't fall. And then he just gets he massively healed by this Wisp and... They end up going 3 for 1 all the while, S4 getting free farm in the top lane, so space being created for him, he gets a lot of pressure onto this top tower, and Kuroki ends up with the triple kill. He's 4 and 1 with 44 CS, already up to 2,000 gold. I mean, yeah, exactly. That's the biggest thing. He's 2,000 gold, and he's not going to need to... Well, I missed the kill bottom as somebody does get caught out and make sure he's roaming in, but... He, he's not going to need to get a bottle. S4 takes the tower top. Ice Path goes in. Big Daddy in some trouble. No relocate. He's going to get fire blasted. S4 is trying to help out as best as possible. Big Daddy's going to heal up with the bottle. And the Spirits Cuisine. Oh, look out, buddy. He does get the kill. Hatawa now. There's the track up on S4. The Shurik Toss. The right click. The Janata. And Hatawa with the club hit gets the double kill. And the track kill is very important because. And I want to talk about Grazine has had a rough time. 13 last hits. I mean, this guy's died a couple of times as well. Three deaths at eight minutes. So you talk about an early start. I feel like that's the most important hero in getting off to a good start. And he really doesn't have one. And Arrow, bitch, are you dead? And Snare's going to go in. How much will they dive this? Kuroki's just going ham. They're going to kill Big Daddy. Yes, Kuroki now getting caught out. And, of course, the Ignite's going to go. The body block. Searing chance. Kuroki will fall. Grazine gets a kill. And that's actually kind of important to get him back up, so a bit too aggressive, but down bottom, there's the statically going. This is a man fighting ass game. These team, they're they're men. They're just fighting like crazy. And they're gonna get a kill on the bottom and Milan getting caught out by S4, and they're gonna put pressure on the tier one tower down here as well. Yeah, and S4 at this level eight now, so they will take this tower down extremely fast. It looks like MYI are gonna rotate both the ogre and the Bounty Hunter to the bottom oh, lane. S4 is going to get caught out. There's the track going in. Liquid Fire. Fire Blast. It is going to be the uh, multicast coming in. The relocate from Big Daddy. They get maybe a kill here on Hatawa. Arrow does sail through and miss. They've already lost their S4 to Kiro. Fire Blast on a Simba. Track was used and no tether to get Simba out. Yeah, He's actually cool alone. Then, yeah, so Ignite's going to come in. Simba in some trouble. Looks like... Big Daddy gonna come to save the day again, but no! The overcharge is not enough, the track going in, and now MYI might dive the tower, the arrow's gonna come in, Big Daddy's just gonna juke it, and stay alive, so... Good fight for MYI, when it's all said and done, they get two out of it. Yep, but every time MYI get these pickoffs, Secret are doing a really good job making sure that they get a lot out of the map when they have these fights. There's usually one to two less members of Secret at these you know, little skirmishes, so all the while when this happens, they are pressuring these lanes. It looks like they are going to get the mid-tower on Kuroki, already up to 3.3k, so doing quite well for himself. Enigma also getting a lot of space, has 1200 gold and is level 7 at 10 minutes. Nice path, about to fly. It's going to connect to the tail end. Mitch still might be in trouble, Liquid Fire might bring him down. Chakram going to go through, just misses. Milan static link on to Big Daddy, but he avoids himself. Meanwhile, Kuroki getting the kill on Hatawa. That's in the mid lane or wrapping around. And now they're going to come in. Puppy has a haste through, and he's not using his black hole. His Malphite was just popped. Body blocks from Kuroki. Milan can't go anywhere. He will get one kill, and that'll be on to Big Daddy, but he's going to fall and trade. And Kuroki getting involved in that kill is pretty important. He has 4K gold. He's going to have a 10 minute relic and maybe a 12 minute rating at this point. That's actually just disgusting. And the courier. Oh, it's ensnared. Goodbye. Oh my god. Couldn't get any worse. Yeah. What was on that? Uh, nothing, okay. And since since December doesn't really have any farm, how are they going to deal with Naga there? Puppy gets arrow, track is up. Now they snare coming in. He's actually got no shadow up for another second or so. They already have used their uh, Riptide multicast on a big daddy. Kuroki comes in and he does get the kill, it looks like. They're going to look for more here. He's trying to chase down Hatawa. 
Another TP coming in, this time coming out from Simba. He does get back involved. Kuroki's gonna get fire blasted. Arrow just misses coming out. Another relocate coming in. There's the song. They wanna fight this. Black hole is available, by the way, for Puppy. If they wanna use it. They pop up the ice path onto two. Beautiful angle. And there's the black hole onto Milan. They blow up one. Hitawa is already dead. Milan is about to fall as well. And an easy fight. Easy tower. And so far, an easy game for a secret, all things considered. At 11 and a half, or actually 12 minutes into the game. And this game is actually going to get quite difficult for him. MYI. Secret doing a really good job pressuring all the lanes constantly. So even though MYI did get off to a pretty good start, it's just going to be so hard, especially fighting up against this. I mean, this. He has a radiance right now. Yeah, it's flying out to him. It's actually, yeah, there That's it is. That's a 12 minute radiance. It's actually disgusting. And I mean, against all the we got pressure. so much farm. Arrow does hit on Simba. Kroki kind of just let his teammate have that one. Malthus is going to go. There's the ice path. Mitch, dual breath. Look at all of that dot damage going through the timber chain. They want to blow up some heroes. The tower might be the first. The, the, the tower's denied, at least, luckily. Now Brazil comes in. They're going to try to fight. The triple remnant charge. Simba misses his timber chain. The ice path might keep him alive. There's the macro power. Puppy is going to get Shrukin tossed. He's tracked up. He's dead. Two now dead on the side of Secret. They will have to back away, it looks like. Although they do get Hitawa in exchange, Kuroki getting the kill, Milan will pick up Big Daddy in the backside with his plasma field. So three killed there, a tower deny, an okay fight for MYY, MYI all things considered. Yeah, and I mean Team Secret with not only, they have a gold and slight experience advantage and I just think their late game is far superior to MYI's. They have this Naga Siren Enigma combo. They have a lot of AoE magic damage. So it's going to be really hard for MYI to take team fights pretty soon as, I mean, a 12 minute radiance. And mm -hmm. I don't think they really have the heroes to deal with this. Even even if Secret's uh, late game radiance wasn't better than MYI's, which it clearly is because of the Naga Siren, they still have a 3,000 net worth advantage for Kuroki over everyone else in this game. I mean, it's 8,500 at 13 and a half minutes because of Radiance. I mean, he'll have his bot soon enough. And after that, who knows what enemy goes for. Maybe a Mantis style, maybe he's uh, early Heart of Tarrasque. And he could just stay bottom. He can actually just keep the all of the map. So. Simba was actually getting relocated on as they were looking for maybe some help. Lazar is going to get chased down. The dust is going to go. That'll slow him a bit. Looking for him. S4 is going to come through the ice path. It is going to connect somehow. That angle from S4, though. And they actually get relocated back just in time into the bottom lane. So they pick up the kill in return. And they can continue to farm. So even though S4, S4 had a difficult lane, he is doing a really good job coming back into this game. Doing a lot of tower damage. Does pick up his Yule Scepter. Um, that song did, did not work out. That was a really good TP coming up from Milan, who just got out of a bad position, a bad spot to be in. So that TP was close as hell, but he does yeah. survive. So the Song of the Siren going to be on cooldown for the next two minutes. I'm not sure if MYI know that it, this is on cooldown. So. Is it. It. Air's going to connect on to Simba. Will they fight? The Seal Scepter is going to go. That's actually going to be Jakiro's yours. Plasma Field, Simba getting caught out. Now there's going to be the overcharge coming in. S4 gets blown up. Krasine with an immediate double kill. You can't really count out the burst damage from an Ember Spirit early game. Triple Remnant plus Flame Guard. Level 4 Searing Chains and Sleight of Fist. Is, it's a lot of damage to deal with. Yep. Ropey is pushing out both the top and bottom lanes. He is up to 2300 gold. He does pick up his Boots of Travel, so a Radiance Boots of Travel Naga at 15 minutes. And he's just farming way too fast at the moment. Yeah, they're going to have trouble shutting him down. They're going to try one way of doing so by pushing this mid lane tower, but I don't know if they get this tower. In fact, Tawa has to get Moonlight Shadow just to survive. So that's going to be on cooldown. They can maybe try to re-engage, but there should be some safe wars coming out um, for Secret. There's the track on Puppy. Puppy has his uh, a mech, by the way. So another big, big item coming up from Secret. And I mean, at some point, Kroki doesn't even really need to split push or farm the map that much. I mean, he'll be just so farmed that eventually they could just start taking towers and fights on their own. You'll just going to go from S4, Ice Path, the towers are going to get caught out. Dual Breath popped, Liquid Fire has already been used, the Insera and Hitawa is just dead. That's just an easy kill, easy catch coming out from S4 as the ward, uh, they don't even have a ward on the high ground here. It's actually a Radiant Observer ward, so. 
Yep. And does look like they are going to push in this mid lane, slowly Radiant's starting to group together. I'm gonna pressure this with the Eidolons and constant liquid fire spam coming up from the Chikiro. Kroki does get arrowed. Ice cap on Mitch. There's the dual breath as well. And Kroki should be just fine. He doesn't really have much mana to work with. But the overcharge plus the bottle charge going in from Big Daddy will be more than enough. Eidolon's taking this down. And liquid fire as well. And I don't think they can, they can try to deny this. There's going to be the glyph coming out. S4 is looking for an ice path. Arrow's going to come in. They're going to just dodge it. It'll be fine. Ice path goes in. There's the fire blast track as well. And Kroki takes the tower. Now his song is going to fly. Oh, Ice Path is up in three, three seconds. Hole. Yeah, this is going to be huge. Puppy's going to come in. There's the black hole. There's going to be a huge, huge gear ultimate as well. Kuroki dishing out so much damage. Grazine's going to try to come in. Kuroki ensnares him immediately. He's got a remnant away, and he will do so. I'm surprised they didn't get more off the back end of that. Maybe Milan is going to get caught out. There's the Yule Scepter. Chakram Ice Path. That'll be more than enough damage to relocate out from Big Daddy just to stay alive. Two killed, and... MYI are grasping at straws here at 17 minutes and 30 seconds in. They, they're really trying their best to be able to stifle this aggression, but it's a lot. Slay the fist, Siri Chance coming in. Kroki will get arrowed. Overcharge, he's still alive. The Remnant doesn't really do that much damage. Ice Path coming in now with this as well. They grab the kill on Grazine. The most important target, I'd say, for my insanity. And I think that's going to be the call for retreat for Secret. They're more than happy with what they've achieved. They're going to head out. Yeah, and I mean, if we look at the net worth on these heroes, 1,200 for a Naga Siren at 18 minutes, and I, he's just constantly farming. It's either heroes or, or uh, I guess, creeps in this, at this point in time. But. Yeah, I mean, 164 creeps, so nearly 10 CS a minute before the 20 minute mark, as well as 9 kills. It's kind of absurd when you think about it. I like the fact that they got aggressive early on, though. That's one thing I do really like about this Naga pick from, from Kuroki. And it's 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 not really the best combo, either. You think about an Io and, an, and a Naga, you're like, huh? I mean, it's a bit it's a bit more standard nowadays, but it's been very exciting, I mean, this game. To be honest, uh, Secret doesn't really care that much about what they combo with the Wisp. They right. just use the hero extremely well. They yeah, make sure true. to maximize the regen potential, as well as... And honestly, you don't really need a hero, you know, I mean, there is the standard wisp combinations, you know, the tiny, the PA, right. even the gyrocopter, but secret usually showing that you don't really need these heroes to make wisp effective. No, and the hero's so damn good anyways. They're just going to go ahead and Roche, fairly simple Roche on with the constant liquid fire spam coming out from Jakiro. Overcharged on a Kuroki, making it that much easier as well. Puppet comes in, he doesn't have the other ones yet. He will bring them in now. And this Roche is going to fall, and Kuroki's going to have an Aegis. And he also has another item that he just bought. It's a full Yash. Actually, it's a full Manta style, pretty much. I mean, he just needs the recipe. He's going to have a Manta style at 20 minutes. Top lane, Simba getting caught out. And he will get Siri chained up. He's going to throw a Chakram. Tazini is going to remnant away. Hatawa is going to just hoof it out. There's going to be the relocate in. They're chasing after one stop. They're fighting in mid as well. There's going to be the macro power coming in. Mitch getting low. Ice path. Lazard is chasing after Puppy. Malthus is going to go. S4. Arrow's going to go through, but not connecting anybody. So top lane. Hitawa is still trying to find Simba. Fire blast. No. Hitawa does not get it off. And kind of an interesting little bit of a tift as fights were going on top as well as mid lane. Broki is alone. And Snare is going to go. Here comes Brazine. Kuroki still has his Aegis, mind you. He actually has Song as well. He's going to pop it. And this is maybe a free fight here. If S4 can get in. He's going to come in through the backside here and look for an Ice Cap. He's going to find it. It's only going to be on Atawa, though. Kuroki is going to get mecked up. The Riptide will secure the kill onto the support Ogre. Lazard is close by. Oh, the Courier kill. Yep, there it is. That's one way of dealing with Anaga. Uh... Just killing the Courier with the Mantis oh, down on it. Yeah, 5,000 gold. It was a full Manta. So, three minutes without the Manta style. Definitely gonna slow down his farm just a little bit. They do find the Bounty Hunter, they're gonna go ahead and use Ice Path. He's dead. He's so, I mean, he gets the he gets the, the Courier. That actually might be more important than his life at this point. So, definitely say so. I mean, it's a support Bounty Hunter. If you're able to get these Courier kills, right. you're not really too worried about dying yourself. And he does pick up a Dagon, so a pretty interesting Bounty Hunter build, to say the least. Hmm. I mean, what I does saw. he really get? Uh, 
you get ganky potential and the nuke potential. I've seen this was like the old standard Mao's play, mm -hmm. like when Piquet was on Mao's and. Uh, but that was when he was playing like a core bounty hunter. It certainly wasn't in the four position. It might have been in the four position once for them, but they rarely picked up the bounty hunter. But when they did, they almost certainly went Dagon. It was really fun to watch, but at the same time, I mean, this is a four position bounty hunter. And although it's a 21 minute Dagon, which it doesn't seem like is that bad, just because of how this game has progressed, it feels like that's not going to be nearly enough. I mean, they are so far behind this Naga Siren. It's actually just ridiculous. And if we go ahead and look at gold secret now with 7,500 gold and over 5,000 experience advantage as, I mean, Simmer just gets completely blown up in the river by that dagon that we just talked about. I mean, that, that is the potential, is that you have, you have ways to kill, you know, a hero very quickly. Yeah, Simba but... having a pretty rough time this game. Yeah, this is certainly not his game. Seven deaths, and I think that might be the most on secret by a wide margin. A little bit Didier is at six, and of course S4 is at six as well, so he's not actually having that rough of a time in comparison to his teammates. But with that being said, it's certainly not a thriving Timbersaw game. And it's sort of anytime you're in this 1v1 as Timbersaw against Razor, it's just such a difficult matchup. And the hero, it's I like I would say it's like a semi snowball hero because you really want to get up your mana boots as quickly as possible. The hero is very mana intensive, as well as you want to get as tanky as possible. So when you're not so tanky, I mean, he doesn't have any items that give him any tank ability yet. So no, I mean, he's just going a little bit. I mean, also moment. level one reactive armor. Not that that matters when you're getting killed by Dagon, Fire Blast, Shrook and Toss. It doesn't seem to matter at that point, but it's just another thing that would add to your effectiveness. S4 is going to come through into the top lane. Grazine's going to get caught out. Macropire, Ice Pap. Do they have enough damage here? He doesn't pop the Flame Guard. In fact, he doesn't have it. He's going to remnant away and he'll stay alive, but this has just been Grazine trying to find... I mean, he doesn't have phase boots. What are you doing? Get phase boots before you get your Battle Fury. I... Relocate bottom there. Looking for Milan. It's actually just Big Daddy No Tail. He didn't tether. So, uh, I think that was a mistake. <laughs> he actually could have fought him, I think. Yeah, so he, he kind of just got scared and TP'd away. I mean, I would as well. I wouldn't know who was there. Meanwhile, Moonlight Shadow, they have detection. Croaky's going to come in and ensnare as well. The gem is up on Big Daddy. Multicast coming in there three times. Croaky actually avoids the arrow because it was off the mark for Mitch. Mitch is like, I'm just going to throw this out of here and hope to God that you live. And luckily, it was enough to stop them and from pushing in. Croaky up to 3.5k on God, top of his... So I mean, freaking farmed. So in three minutes he's farmed, he's farmed a thousand gold per minute since he's like, his Manta died. He has like 252 CS at 23 minutes in, not to mention the 10 kills and 10 assists he's been involved in. I don't, I mean like, we saw yesterday, gold per minute. Uh, it is 768 at That's 23 minutes insane. into the game. That's without a single set of racks gone, by the way, just like to throw that out there. And without his Manta style. That's actually just the most ridiculous. That's actually just fucking ridiculous. I'm excuse my language. <laughs> it's actually just absurd. I don't actually it's been a while, I think, since I've seen a Naga have this great of a time. I I think this is probably the most enjoyable time Crookie's had in some some time playing this game. Lo we talked about it yesterday. I don't know. You probably weren't there to see the game, but Loda had a, a fantastic farming performance on an anti-mage. But this is Another category. Yule Scepter is going to go. The Macro Pyre might fly. They don't even need it. Hitao is going to get blown up by the Timber Chain. A couple of right clicks, and obviously the dual breath plus the Fire will get the kill. And they take it back. They get the, the Courier again. Actually, I, uh, this time they did get the Manta style, though. They got the Manta off onto Kuroki before the Courier died. There was an Atos on it. Uh, whose Atos was it? It was S4s. I'm not sure who got the kill. Might have been Lazard again. I think they're well, getting two Atos. Mitch is going to get caught out. He is going to get Malifus potentially. S4 has some speed with his Yule Scepter, but it won't really catch him. So, all right, he's fine. All right, so they are doing a really good job picking off these couriers with the Bounty Hunter. And this is really what you have to do if you're going to pick this hero. I'm, we saw Pilot Eye playing this support. He played it almost as a five position at TI. And the way that Pilot Eye plays it, I think, is the way you have to play it. If you're not constantly getting courier snips, I think the hero is sort of useless. And that comes down to really having good vision, I think, for yeah. the most part, and understanding when items are coming out. 
So yeah, he's done a good job. Lizardo again. It's it's one of those heroes that is kind of an orthodox in the oh four slash five position. God. That's a Scotty. He actually just buys the full Scotty at twenty five minutes. I mean, cause why not? You're rich. Why not? Just, you know, use your money <laughs> at this point. Let's see. So how many slots? Four. Relocate coming in. Now they're gonna be up in the high ground. Crookie's looking for a kill. There's the song to start things off. And S4 wants to get in good position. They're gonna maybe look for a black hole. They actually avoid most of the song. Grazine is here. Ice Path going in a towel gets blown up. Grazine's gonna come in, slide up his searing chains. Mecha's gonna fly. They relocate back out. But they're still going to work. Kuroki is pushing into the tier three tower. 26 minutes as a Naga Siren with four slots, a Scotty bots, Radiance, and a Boots of Travel. Not to mention 400 gold in the bank, but I mean, that's at this point, it doesn't really matter. They're going to put some pressure on the tier 3 tower back away. And uh, MYI are just going to push this out. Luckily, Grazine does have the Battle Fury now. But still no phase boots, but is that enough? Probably not. I don't think he's anywhere close. Nope. Kuroki continues to farm, and Team Secret doing what they do best. Move up to push a... Uh. Push a um, okay, that's just kind of probably not too happy Yeah, about that's that. just like, really? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Give a secret do a really good job of, they pressure your tier 3 towers, but they don't commit, so they force you to TP back, and that's all they really care about. After you TP back, they don't commit to the tower, because secret, definitely a team that's constantly playing for the late game, so... After you TP back, they just split up to farm again. And they just, I mean, that, it's as simple as just an easy relocate. And they don't even need anything from Kuroki. It's like, okay, Radiance Burn, you're all dead. Tawa's even going to fall now as well. Kuroki's going to walk up to the high ground. And they make sure they just leave Kuroki alone to his own devices. And he'll just get an easy double kill. He's monster kill right now. 2.4k gold because he's getting kills left and right. Is that another courier? No, please tell me. That was the Radiant Courier, okay. Alright, I'm not sure where that one died. Meanwhile, I mean, mid lane slide is, is not... gonna go. Cuisine is gonna get Yules up. Ice Path is gonna fly, and he's like, I think Cuisine's actually just. Oh, he remnanted it out with Sled of Fizz. I think he remnanted it first, but Milan's actually too far up now. Macro is gonna fly. Milan is actually just not nearly tanky enough to deal with Kuroki at this point. Scotty, 3.5k gold. Big Daddy might die. Uh, yep, there's the Dagon from Lazard. How are you? Gives him the zap. The Taze are gonna be well. The Ice Path's gonna connect that one. I mean, four heroes are dead for MYI, and at this point, they're probably going to lose a set of racks pretty soon. So... But, like I was saying, with how secret like to play so... Right, Kroki is going to take an arrow to the face. Cuisine is going to get uh, absolutely obliterated. Kroki does die, luckily. That's a big streak coming out. I'm not sure who got that one. It looks like Mitch did. S4 is going to get killed as well. Big fight coming out from MYI now. Simba's going to take a spill as well. Double kill came out from Milan. In fact, Puppy has to get away. He's too far up now. They will chase him down. Arrow! It's going to connect. Puppy gets hit in the backside. Kroki's going to buy back. He might even bots into this and try to fight. One versus three. The song's going to go. He is absolutely alone now. Here comes No Tail. And Big Daddy's ready to fight. The song's going to go away. Hitawa in some trouble. The slide of this does go. Big Daddy in trouble. He'll fall, but Grazine's going to try to man up. But Kuroki is 1v4 in the entire enemy team. Slide of this searing chain's going. Kuroki is still just man fighting. Grazine has no remnant. One more right click. The day again. He goes down. He's dead for 100 seconds. A bit too greedy. The Atos now into Lazard. S4 is desperate looking for something. He'll get tracked up. And a Yule Scepter back out. Macropire, Ice Path, both off the mark on Lazard. Here comes Simba, but again, the Chakram not there. And Secret actually lose their Naga for 80 seconds. That's the yeah. best thing that MYI could have asked for, despite losing a couple of heroes in the process. Uh, I mean, that's Secret getting a little sloppy. They do end up getting a Tier 3 tower from the Creeps, but... Trophy just going full man mode. Lazard is getting caught out. Simba actually just timber chained away. The Dagon goes, and, and Simba seems more than fine. He, he will not be able to suicide. The Star Storm did go. Atos is going to fly. S4 throws the Ice Path, and somehow it doesn't hit. The Dual Breath will. But Mo Mitch is going to get chased down. It looks like S4 has a good idea of where he is, and Mitch can't actually just get out. S4 gets a kill there. Uh, it's 32 to 33 at 30 minutes into the game. I just want to throw that out there for anyone that's interested in you know keeping score at home. Uh, to give you a better example, that's 65 kills at 30 minutes into the game. Um, uh, definitely an action-packed game. Oh, this team, yeah. Both these teams not afraid to fight. No. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, we couldn't ask for a better game one. The unfortunate thing is that there's only two games today.
but uh, that is unfortunate. What are you gonna do? Looks like the Secret are gonna go for this Roshan again, so abusing the fact that they have this Chikira and are on the dire side. I expect to see Kuroki probably porting into this. Yeah, he's just gonna port actually onto an Eidolon. <laughs> that nice express trip to the Rosh pit. And then it's he he wastes no time. His mirror images go to the jungle immediately and to the middle lane. I like the idea. No, I guess I thought MYI were gonna smoke up and head to the the Rosh pit, but that's that wasn't yeah, their idea. So I guess do I don't that. like it. And actually, uh, Nelson picked up for the Razor, so becoming a true Lightning Revenant. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> hey, I need a little bit more Lightning on this hero, guys. What's the item that I build for that? I mean, he Maelstrom sort of has, got it. He sort of has to get this to clear illusions, but at the same time, at this point, it doesn't actually help that much. Like Maelstrom does very little damage right now. Yeah. I mean, they do get the Mjolnir on the Marana, so maybe if they get up two Mjolnirs, they can maybe clear these images, but... Uh, that's just dealing with one Naga Sire, though. I mean, they even have an Ember Spirit with the Battle Fury, because he's going to get Ice Path, Dual Breath, and Macro Pirate, but... He's done a good job of keeping his uh, Remnant all the way back in the base for the most part, and he's going to try to build to his second Battle Fury, again, with no phase boots. I S4. guess it's working out, but... It's for actually doing a tremendous amount of damage to that Ember Spirit. It's kind of ridiculous. He's had a really good game. Yeah, he chews through the flame guard like nearly instantly. Yeah, maybe one or two ticks of the macro power, or like a, a macro power and a dual breath are more than enough. Um, like the first tick of both, and so it becomes a bit of an issue at this point where flame guard is just kind of useless, uh, especially against like radiance as well. So. The, the only good thing that they have going for Grazine is that the fact that Slade Fist is going to be able to clear through uh, a couple of the heroes pretty quickly. Like, Big Daddy just dies in seconds to Grazine because Battle Fury actually does a significant amount of damage to heroes that are a bit squishy. That's a bit and obvious, but... I want to take a moment to... I really like that Puppy goes for this Crimson Guard this game against the Ember Spirit. And I actually think that teams aren't using Crimson Guard to its fullest potential since this item came out, but... A really solid choice to pick it up in this game against both the Razor and the Ember Spirit. I knew you were going there. Yeah, it does, it blocks, so it will block the Sleight of Fist and it will also block the Razor Ult Eye of the Storm, so mm -hmm. a really solid pick up this now, game. You and I have talked about this multiple times and, and anytime you see a Razor, you, you generally, you like to see this choice. It, it makes Eye of the Storm, especially without an Aghanim Scepter, pretty much useless. Yeah, it's really solid against... I think there's three times it's really good. I think it's really good against Ember, really good against Razor, and really good against Illusion Heroes, in, at least in the early game. At some mm -hmm. point it does fall off in its effectiveness because it only blocks 50 damage, but... I mean, even blocking 50 damage, let's say against this Naga Siren, Illusions do 35% of 193 damage, so it would actually block nearly all of the damage coming up in the Naga apparently with the Illusions. Arrow's gonna hit onto S4, the Ice Cap hit go, Fire Blast going as well, the Incera's up, but... Just gets caught out of position. The active was also popped for the, uh, Naga Siren there in the last engagement, I believe, while he was taking the Ancient Stack, but... They're gonna go to the high ground now, and this might be it for MYI in this first game, if they can't take the fight here. Kuroki has the Aegis, and he's got his... he's got five slots already, and... For the team fight, he'll probably have six. Tier 3 goes down, the Mailer Axe is going to get focused. Cuisine comes with the Slide of Fist. Mitch is able to leap away out of the Ice Path, interestingly enough, because of how the ticks work. Mantis Style is going to get popped. There's the Glyph going as well, the mech up to keep Kuroki fighting fifth. The Illusion is going to go under the base, and the Illusion will take down the Rax, no problem. I mean, Kuroki doesn't need to be on the high ground. The Slide of Fist does clear them, and the Maelstrom is going to get procced, but the Mailer Axe is already gone, man. Like, what? <laughs> that was without Secret even, you know, using the Aegis or even thinking about fighting at all. Air does hit on Kuroki, but Mitch is like, I don't really want to fight that hero. Kuroki's going to come into this song. There's the Insera to Milan, and he has his BKB. He's going to have to pop it. He'll try to TP out as well, but look at the right click. He does get away. Slide if it's going into Big Daddy as well as Kuroki, but there's the song. Crimson Guard getting popped up, I believe, at the right time. Big Daddy actually has to back away Kuroki. Chakram, Mitch, Ice Path, he cannot get away, and he will fall. Shruka Toss does not get to kill Kuroki's age. is about to be expended, and it will... The relocate now coming out from Kuroki, he couldn't get the help of uh, Big Daddy, rather. 
He couldn't get that reload kit off to get Kuroki back home. Ivan Storm's gonna get popped from Lon. He's gonna try to fight this. Kuroki should have his ensnare in a couple of seconds. Big ice path onto two. The black hole onto four as well. The Riptide macro power chewing through MYI. Hatawa gets blown up for dead. And I expect the GG call to come out any second from now. Kuroki is gonna go for the tier fours because screw it, I'm farmed enough. Oh my god. What a game from Kuroki, man. Really well played from, I would say actually all of Secret, you know. Just knowing exactly what they can get away with. The learning phase was a little rough for them, but, you know, securing their late game, getting those early towers on the THD, and you just can't allow this team to have less. It's just too strong. At least the way that they play it. Ban this year out, is yeah. what you're saying to uh, MYI and X-Game? It's, I mean, it's really hard to ban against Secret because there's three heroes that you need to get rid of for their team, so... Maybe... I think the best thing that you can do is... Ban... Two of them and then first pick the other if you have first pick, but when you don't have first pick against this team...